Hey there, Rockets. Mrs. Meyer here, and we are going to be working on my F book, okay? So the first thing you'll do is write your name on the front. Make sure that you're writing in that perfect kindergarten handwriting with only one capital letter. Or if you're like me and have two capitals, you can use two capitals. Most of you only have just the one, okay? All right, let's do a picture walk first. So F book, F says F. So these things all are gonna start with a sound, okay? This is a finger, and this is a fox. A finger can point, a fox can run. Turning, folding. Parents, let your kinder kid do this. This is a foot, this is a fish. A foot can walk, a fish can swim. This is a frog. Frogs can jump. They jump high, right? So that says so high. Make sure you read it with excitement. A frog can jump so high. Okay. You'll go back to the beginning and you're going to circle all the capital letters and all the end marks. All the capitals and end marks. And I have one in my name because it's an abbreviation. So here's a capital and there's an end mark. Oh, I always forget that you guys can't see if my finger's in the way. <laughs> there's a capital, there's an end mark. There's a capital, there's an end mark. There's a capital, there's the end mark. And this has two sentences, so we have to circle both capitals and both end marks. Oops. Silly Mrs. Meyer. I got the wrong one. Uh, there we go. Okay. And you're going to go back and I want you to underline all the letter F's. I'm going to use orange this week. Okay. So all the letter F's. I don't have any F's in my name. There's an F. There's an F. See, I'm just underlining just a little bit. Yeah, you can barely see it, just a little bit, but I'm doing it. See that? Underlining the letter F. There's my F. Now, is that an F? It looks kind of like it, doesn't it? Except it's upside down. That's a T. And some of these typewriter letters are hard for us to um, recognize because they look funny. Like, we don't do T's normally like that. We don't make A's like that. I like to call those typewriter uh, letters because you're right. They don't look like how we print them. But that is what they look like with the typewriter, which used to be um, before they had computers, people would have to write on typewriters. Okay, so that's the only F on that one. Going back, put my thing away, and then you are going to give a splash of color to all the fingers. Maybe this one I'll paint fingernail. And since I have black fingernails this week, I'll color my fingernail black, and I'll even make it longer, make it look like my fingernail. Okay. And the fox, so I'm going to give him a little splash of color. Foxes are kind of orangey colored, so I'll just color lightly. Remember the lightly is when you use the flap so it literally it can stand up on its own. Yep, and it kind of squeaks if you do it too hard. And so then you'll give a splash of color to the rest of those. I'm not going to waste your time by showing you all of that, but I do want to read it to you one last time, just like how you're going to read it to me. You're going to be in charge of pointing uh, to the words and reading the words, moving your finger and stuff. Again, it's easier if you have your child put the book down flat and I can read the book sideways or upside down, then it's easier than having trying to have them hold it or you move the pages, okay? So, my F book. Mrs. Meyer. A, whoop, can't see that. A finger can point, a fox can run. A foot can walk, a fish can swim. A frog can jump so high. Good luck, Rockets. 